Kenix uh, is a, a, a good partner in uh, supporting this European tendencies to become a continent, an area of uh, um, zero carbon emission. Our part, what we can contribute to that is uh, very simple. We are the one who is able to control all devices in a building. By doing that, we come to the possibility that the users of the building is able to have a balance over a period of time of, of zero uh, emission. KNX has had a focus on only using energy when needed. Now the time has come that indeed this asset of KNX can be even more highlighted than it was ever before. And now also comes the element of energy management. We can not only save energy, we can produce it locally, we can store it locally. A control system, and especially KNX, is very important in managing this energy that is being produced in homes and buildings. The central element in energy management is the so-called customer energy manager. The customer energy manager needs to collect from the different sources, from the different products, the data and the customer energy manager needs to decide on now is the time to uh, store energy or now it's the time to use energy. Energy management has the capability to ensure that uh, power generation, uh, power storage or energy storage and uh, power usage in the building can be aligned with each other so that the power available from, renew from renewable resources as part of the building can be used on site in the building uh, when it is available and uh, if there is proper storage the building can actually provide this power to the grid and uh, uh, with this uh, renewable energy, uh, it will uh, add to the smart city, uh, reducing its power consumption. The total load that your household or your building can draw at any given time from the grid or from your own battery. With uh, technology, we can make sure that that load is kept under specific thresholds. So you need smaller batteries, and the whole country needs less power plants. Sustainability has to prove that products can last a life cycle, and this is achievable. KNX has the tools and has the product lifespan that we need to enable buildings to be truly sustainable. Today, KNX is 33 years old, and a product built 33 years ago can still operate with a product that you buy today and be manipulated with the software that we as a company use to create systems. KNX is truly sustainable and it ticks far more boxes in this area than any other system. Saving energy in the building has a huge impact on the overall carbon emissions. So many times the discussion is on producing energy in a decentralized way, but seeing that 40% of the CO2 uh, emissions in cities are from buildings, we can save with energy efficiency a big chunk of it where smart home solutions are, are necessary. In addition to that, what we can do. Basically, I think the idea is also to monitor and share the sustainability impacts of a smart building on a daily basis. Make transparent which effort is done for nature just by implementing smart home systems. I think this is something which also will increase the awareness on the relevance of this topic. And it's fun anyway to see that you do something good for nature and environment every day. In the past it was energy efficiency, so passive ways to save energy. Then we move to active wave, and that is energy uh, management, basically. There are manufacturing companies that they develop new products on the area of energy management. We've seen this is happening already. And at the same time, it's also important that professionals, they consider energy management application into their projects. 
And it plays a big role, the integration not only of renewable source of energies, but also to have a way to control all this energy. So about sustainability, um, first we need to measure, display, bring people awareness to, to trigger the change. Then from energy efficiency to energy management. We used to say the buildings need to be efficient. The people need to be efficient. Why? Because especially in the commercial building, comfort of people when they work is key to get the right productivity. And then finally, the maintenance, the operations needs to be efficient. The next step is artificial intelligence inside, because by having all data, we can have those systems again adjusting to make it the most optimized possible. Thank you.